Hello guys, we are back with our next set of tutorials. In this set of tutorials, we will be going through the 5th chapter of MS, which is Curve Fitting. Guys, this chapter is really simple guys. You need Calci and the chapter is really really simple. Completely like statistics. Okay, but it's not statistics guys basically. Okay, you will be drawing different, different lines, parabolas, many things like that, but it's not statistics. Okay, so basically first topic in that is straight line equation guys this chapter is also really easy guys so don't get tensed or anything like that okay so basically the first topic in this chapter is straight line equation oh what is spelling straight line equation we'll be using a method called least square method the equation may be given like this using straight line equation or using least square method okay so Basically, the least square method or the straight line. So, once you hear the straight line word, you need to remember only one equation, guys. I'll be saying you how you can derive the other equations. Okay, don't worry about that. Okay. So, basically, you, you need to notify an equation in your brain. Okay, you need to think it right on the spot. You need to notify that. So, it is nothing but y is equals to a plus bx. Right, it's really simple, guys. It's really small. Y is equal to a plus bx. That's it. You need to remember one straight line. Y equal to x a plus bx. Fine. So this is the equation of straight line, guys. So basically, you need to find this as the final result. So if to find this as the result, you need to solve something, right? To get the values of a, b, x, or anything like that, whatever you need, the values of a and b, you need to find. So to find them we will be normalizing this equation means normalization is nothing but initially multiply this with sigma guys so remember one thing you will be doing this in three methods guys so just practice this instead of remembering the formulas you just practice this this will be a better thing so just multiply sigma so sigma y is equals to remember for if there is no constant we can also oh, sorry if for a constant if you multiply it becomes n number of into a plus b sigma x okay this will be our first normal equation and second normal equation is nothing okay for this we multiplied sigma to get this and for this result if we multiply x okay you'll be getting the next result okay or you can even say that for this i'll be multiplying sigma x that will be the better thing so it will become sigma x into y is equals to a here it is already sigma x so directly it will become sigma x plus b sigma x square this will be our second equation so these are the two normal equations which we use to find a comma b okay guys so now i hope everyone got a crystal clear idea on this so you need to know these unknowns right you need to find sigma y okay let me write it down sigma x y okay comma sigma x square comma sigma x all are done right comma n n comma sigma x comma sigma y comma sigma x y comma sigma x square so these are all the unknowns that you need to know to solve to get this simple equation sorry the straight line equation okay so now let us take a small example guys so here is a small example i think everyone can observe that so fit the straight line equation of the following of the least square method so he gave the values of x and y okay i'm, I'm just copying the same question guys don't worry Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 14, 27, 40, 55, 68. Okay, so just write down these three equations and we need to find all these values guys. Okay, let me start. N is nothing but the number of uh, entries. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So directly we got N equal to so. The first one is done. So we need to find the rest of four things. It's really simple guys. Just to draw a table. X y these two will be done so x y and x square that's it there's no confusion or any kind of crazy thing in this guys 3 4 5 here it will be 14 27 40 55 68 so x y is nothing but multiplication 14 right 27 is 54 right mm. 4 3 is a 12 120 50 220 right 68 into 5 340 okay so we got the values like this and x square is nothing but 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. So you need to add these individual results guys. 
So these will be the answers for that. Okay, these will be the answers for this unknowns. Okay, so let's add them. Okay, let, let me take my book. Okay, I found it. 15, 204, 55, 748. So these are the results. So solve substitute all these results in these two equations, guys. The normal equations you'll be substituting in them to find A and B. That's it. Okay, so let us start substituting. Sigma x is equals to n a. So sigma x is 204 is equals to n is nothing but pi a plus b into sigma x. Sigma x is 15, so 15 b. This will be our first equation and sigma x y, which is nothing but 55. Is that 55? Just give me a second. Oh, sorry, I just did a small mistake. This is 55 and this is 748. So this will be 748. Sorry for that guys. Is equals to 15a plus 55b. This will be our second equation. So you can solve them using uh, multiplication or division or you can solve them directly using calculus. So at the end you will be getting the value of a is equals to 0 and b is equals to 13.6. So substitute a b values in this equation. So y is equals to 0 plus 13.6x. Therefore, y is equals to 13.6x. So, this is our straight line equation for the given question. So, I hope everyone got a clean and clear idea on straight line equation. So, shall we go through one more problem, guys? I'll be just explaining you theoretically. Okay. Let me open my book. Fine. Okay. This is the given question, guys. They gave just the same straight line equation and they gave 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Same, 5 entries. So we got n equal to 5 and we have just substituted the values x, y, x square, x, y. Okay, so write those three normal equations. Substitute all the values in those equations. You will be getting a and b values. Substitute them in our straight line equation. That's it guys. Okay guys, so now I hope everyone is now 100% clear with straight line equation. So in the next video we will be going to parabola equation guys. Okay, fine. Thank you. Thanks for watching.